Project 7C Natural Birth Simulation Perform an Episiotomy Suture techniques are required for this project. The project requirements and preparations are the same as those for Project 6A, with the addition of specific suture materials. These required items include a needle holder, AdSense forceps, and absorbable suture materials. Please ensure you do not use all the suture materials provided in the kit, as they will be needed for upcoming C-section projects. For this project, we will be practicing the medial-lateral episiotomy where an incision is made at an angle away from the midline towards one side of the perineum. We will assume a local anesthetic has already been injected in the area where the incision will be made and only the closure of the cutaneous layer will be simulated. The assistant will follow the steps from Project 6A. As the baby's head is crowning, the obstetrician will use gauze and a diluted antiseptic solution to clean the imitation perineum before locating the posterior fourchette and starting the incision. Ensure the perineum is stretched to its maximum with the baby's head crowning. Then, with the non-dominant hand, protect the fetal head by inserting the index and middle fingers inside the vagina and creating a space for an incision between the fetal head and the perineum. Using the dominant hand, make a 3 to 4 centimeter diagonal incision at a 45 to 60 degree angle from the posterior fourchette to the side of the vaginal opening using the dissecting scissors. If right-handed, cut to the left. If left-handed, cut to the right. Use sterile gauze to apply gentle pressure to the incision site and control any bleeding while continuing with the delivery of the baby. Once the baby's head is free of the birth canal, rotate it slightly to account for restitution and deliver the rest of the baby. If there are no signs of distress, place the baby onto the mother's chest for skin-to-skin -skin contact, covering it with a blanket. The umbilical cord will then be clamped and cut as outlined in Project 6A. Optionally, the postpartum procedures for the L&D nurse from Project 6A can also be followed. The obstetrician will now proceed to repair the episiotomy. Check the incision and confirm that there is no active bleeding and that it has not extended into the anal sphincter or rectum. Locate the apex of the wound and prepare to close the cutaneous layer of the wound. Assume that the underlying layers have been appropriately sutured. Place an interrupted stitch approximately 0.5 to 1 cm from the apex of the wound and tie a surgeon's knot to secure the stitch. Continue placing interrupted stitches along the incision until you reach the vaginal opening. Take care and use even tension when suturing to prevent puckering or gaps in the skin. Clean the area again with an antiseptic solution.